The strength of this program here is, is the connection between the residents and the preceptors and the public health practitioners in, in the province. So a uh, relatively small province, relatively small program, but with that you get that benefit of the connection between people. The nice thing about our program is uh, pretty much all the preceptors completed the same residency, so they, they have that context and that experience and, and the same training, which enhances their teaching. Um, and uh, so it's, it's a great program from that perspective because you get to work with a lot of different medical officers of health, different perspectives, different areas of interest, uh, and you learn a, bit, a little bit of a different approach kind of from everyone that you work with. We have 48 full-time faculty members and 124 part-time. Um, it's a very research and teaching intensive department. So in terms of research, we, had, um, we have 11 CRCs, Canada Research Chairs, uh, um, so out of 48 faculty, that's really quite remarkable. In terms of our graduate programs, we have three programs, a Master's of Public Health, a Master's of Science, and our PhD doctoral program, and we have over 100 students. It's a five-year residency program. Uh, res residents spend the first uh, two years in the family medicine program. Year three, um, they complete coursework towards a Master's of Public Health or a Master's of Science, uh, usually within uh, our Department of Community Health Sciences, but sometimes residents opt to go out of province, which we support. Our family medicine program is very unique in that it's very learner focused. It really tries to make sure we uh, can practice as a full service practitioner at the end of the two years, but at the same time tailor our interests along the way by offering us a broad range of electives that we can participate in. It allows us to obtain a CCFP uh, licensing exam at the end of the two years. It allows us to seamlessly transition from medical school to residency and refine and strengthen our clinical skills and knowledge base. Um, it is great because it offers a lot of flexibility at the end of our two years um, to continue to practice as a primary care provider in the remainder three years of our PHPM program. I feel very well prepared in terms of you know taking being more independent when when I'm no, no, no longer a learner uh, and also you have those relationships that you formed in your residency training right there you have all these colleagues now that you know that you can send them a text or ask them a question if you want to run something by them and I think the, the public health community in Manitoba is quite strong from that standpoint we all support each other and uh, especially when we're kind of newly finished our training. More recently, residents have had the opportunity to take some leadership courses through the Canadian Medical Association, their Physician Leadership Institute. We often get the opportunity to chair meetings and take more of a leadership role, um, which is really good experience, especially to have early on, uh, just to help you build that confidence for when you are kind of it and you're, you're not a learner anymore. Uh, the, the program sets us up for such a seamless transition from a senior resident to practicing public health uh, uh, professional. Some of the advantages, I think, of our program are that residents can be involved in undergraduate medical education, um, in our small group sessions for years one and two, and be involved in the clerkship and electives as senior residents. We also have governance um, mentorship, so they can take leadership roles on different committees in the department, and we have so many research opportunities that they could become involved in. So we've worked uh, very hard to improve the diversity of our intake of students and I think that's been very successful. Uh, we are also working to increase the diversity of faculty and staff and uh, most recently have established a lead or an office uh, for EDI uh, and are working hard at things like implicit bias during search committees to improve our performance overall. The final two years of residency is largely in public health Health practice. So residents spend uh, 18 months with MOHs in a variety of settings, including urban, rural, northern. Um, in addition to that, they spend one month with our provincial lab, as well as another month in occupational health. And uh, that still leaves elective time for them to explore a specific interest. I chose to continue doing my residency training in Winnipeg because I'm well aware of how uh, well supported the learners are and how safe the learning environment is. I know that family medicine program as well as the public health program here are especially receptive to learner feedback and they're really actively trying to improve the program based on what we're telling them um, day to day. So there's lots of great things that make uh, Manitoba a, a good place to do this residency program. 
Uh, it's a great uh, community of, of public health practitioners to work with. Uh, there's lots of opportunities to work in a diversity of settings to gain experience in public health practice. And um, as a program director, it's really great to see residents uh, go on and get a position as a medical officer of health here in this province.